how to crop. Let's get right into it. There are two main ways that I know how to crop video in Adobe Premiere Pro. The first is using the crop tool. So I've got a sample shot here and I'm just gonna pull in the thing that I'm going to reveal when this I pick up this cup. Um, so let's just kind of like sketch it out a little bit. So it really doesn't need to show up until like maybe here and then it's gonna pull away and then that's where it will live. Okay, so let's go ahead and search crop in the effects panel. And we're gonna go ahead and drag that effect right onto the clip. And you'll see it comes up here in effects controls. And this is where you'll be able to manipulate exactly what you want to crop. All right, so by the time it gets here, it's fully revealed. So let's go ahead and, you know, select crop and um, let's just, let's just grab all of these. Now, you can do this a couple of different ways. Whenever you're cropping, that's essentially how you'll be using this effect, is you're going to be manipulating these features here. Now, if you needed to make it a little more specific, you could use the mask tool here, but let's just go ahead and try and use just these. So, by the time we're here, let's go ahead and manipulate the right, and we can continue to scrub. And there's another way that you can do this. You could scrub through here or you can just go ahead and on the screen when, as long as this is selected, then these bars will pop up and you should be able to manipulate it like this, which I definitely would prefer. So we're going to just reveal it this way. And we just wanna make sure that we're going right along with the movement of the cup. So we don't want to reveal it too early. So you definitely want to like, you know, do every frame kind of gets a keyframe. All right, so that looks pretty good. And then <clears throat> this here, the edge feather is also really helpful just to make it a little more natural. Now that's going to reveal it a little bit more. So you want to kind of like be careful how much you use. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like. That looks pretty good. That'll work. So it looks like this. That's pretty cool. That's kind of cool. Okay, the other way that you can crop video, which is my favorite way, is using the opacity filter right in the effects control. So you don't need to search for anything in the effects panel. It's already in here. Okay, so how I go about doing this is I automatically select this free draw mask. And I'm going to go ahead and go, let's go into the end. Let's just start there of like how the mask is going to look by the end of the effect. So this is fine, it doesn't need to be anything super specific. I wouldn't go too crazy with the points because as you're gonna see in a minute here, you're gonna go crazy in a little bit as you're moving um, and creating your mask. So I would just kinda keep minimal um, for now. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit this keyframe, so you're gonna start the animation process once you've hit that one keyframe. Now every time I make a move, it's gonna add another keyframe. Okay, let's go to the beginning before we've started masking anything. Let's go right before we start to need to see anything. And now you'll click on the mask to bring up the bars again. And I'm going to, oops, I'm going to pull the mask all the way in so you don't see anything at all. Okay, great. Now you're gonna see that it's automatically gonna, you know, animate because it's got two keyframes here, obviously. But we want it to be, you know, a lot smoother than this. So I'm going to, First of all, zoom in here so we can get a closer look at our keyframes. Let's go, let's start with this keyframe here. Okay, so we are looking to mask out specifically where the cup is not. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. And then by the time we get, let's kind of go right here and see if we can help this situation. So it kind of like cuts off at the corner. Oh, another thing I forgot is um, you don't need to necessarily animate this. You can, but it will stay pretty, well, I guess it's fine at 10, actually. We'll leave it like that. But you may want to alter the feather kind of as you're going to, because that's going to make it look a little bit more smooth. Let's see. Let's mess with this a little bit more so that we have it kind of coming under, whoops, coming under the cup. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Okay, now we can really see what's up. Wonderful. Like this. By the time the cup is gone here, we definitely can see 
almost all of everything and now it's good. And then if we go frame four, see this is what I'm talking about with you're kind of end up, you're going to end up with a lot of different anchors. Okay, so we just kind of want to make sure that that's smooth enough now that we have a million points. And I think that's looking pretty good. Let's go back to the fit and let's kind of, you're going to be able to see, I think I saw something here. Well, that's all right. Let's see what happens if we play it. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, great. There are a few ways that you can obviously use cropping depending on why you clicked on this video. Um, there are several reasons. You may want to blend clips together. You can use it to reveal text or even a logo like I was doing before. You can use cropping for transition shots and you can go more simple and use cropping to help create a split screen effect. There's plenty of other ways I'm sure that you can use cropping, but those are just a few examples. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like below and um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this cropping video. If you agree or if you have your own cropping techniques that you'd like to share, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.